Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a great riddle or a great puzzle that uh, I'm calling the Boys, Balls and Hats puzzle. And I've drawn a basic diagram here to uh, show you what uh, what's happening. But we've got uh, three boys, one, two and three. And these three boys are throwing the ball to each other. So the first boy always throws the ball to the second boy. The second boy always throws the ball to the third boy. And the third boy throws the ball back to the first boy. And they keep going around and around in a circle or perhaps a triangle. Um, and now the important thing to note is the first boy is wearing a hat. The third boy is not wearing a hat. And the second boy, well, we don't know whether the second boy is wearing a hat or not. And the question then, has a boy wearing a hat thrown the ball to a boy not wearing a hat? So we can see there that the boy with a hat throws to the second boy, we not, don't know whether he's got a hat or not, who throws the ball to the third boy who's not wearing a hat, and the boy not wearing a hat throws the ball to a first boy who's wearing a hat. So, uh, the question, has a boy wearing a hat thrown the ball to a boy not wearing a hat, has uh, three sort of possible answers. It's either yes, no, or it can't be determined based on the information given in this uh, puzzle. So now if you want to uh, think about the answer, press on the pause button in the bottom left hand corner. Otherwise I'm going to go straight into the answer. And the key to the answer is the second boy. So we don't know whether the second boy's got a hat on or not, but it's either one or the other. Either he has a hat or he doesn't have a hat. And so there we go. So the second boy either has a hat or he has no hat. Now, if he is wearing a hat, then boy with a hat throws the ball to the second boy with a hat. So that's that's the uh, doesn't answer the question. But if the second boy is wearing a hat, then a boy with a hat throws the ball to the third boy who is not wearing a hat, and the condition is met. But if the second boy is not wearing a hat, then the first boy, wearing a hat, throws the ball to a second boy who has no one hat on, and the condition is met in that case. So, so it doesn't, uh, so either way, if the boy has no hat on, the second boy has no hat, then you've got first boy with a hat throwing a ball to with boy with no hat. And if the second boy does have a hat on, then the condition is met by the um, the second boy having a hat and throwing the ball to the third boy with no hat. And so either way, if the boy second boy has a hat or no hat, then the condition will be met. Has a boy wearing a hat thrown the ball to a boy not wearing a hat? The condition is met either either or hat or no hat. So the possible answer is it can only be yes. Yes is the only answer because the condition is met. Um, whether it, it's met if the boy second boy has a hat or it's met if the second boy has no hat. So there we go. That's a, uh, a great puzzle, a great riddle. Which you can try out on your friends. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.